Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so this is going to be the third installment of Old Smokey's Mail Call. And I just wanted to start off by being on camera and saying a huge thank you to everyone that sent something in that made this video possible. And uh, second off, I wanted to thank everyone that's been watching the videos and subscribing. Just passed 10,000 subscribers recently. Almost ready to pass 11,000. Never thought that I'd get to this point, so I really wanted to just say thank you to everyone. I'm going to be filming a special video for that. And there's going to be something in this video that will pertain to the 10,000 subscriber video. Uh, you guys stick around to see that. And uh, I'm going to move you guys over here closer to the table. That way you can see inside the boxes whenever I get them opened up. So I'm going to go ahead and get you moved over here and we'll get started. Alright, so here's the first package. And this was sent to me by uh, Mickey Joe from over at Mickey Joe's MREs. He's got a YouTube channel. There will be a link to him. It's already down in my uh, links in my description. But uh, I'll put another one. It'll be in the very top of the description in this. You guys go check that out. And I'm going to be using the big old knife that Fireman Foods sent in last time. We'll go ahead and get this thing cut open and see what's inside. This knife is absolutely huge. All right, we're in. Let's take a look inside this. He spent a fortune to ship this thing to me. I really appreciate you sending this, buddy. I really do. Now, he's from out in Montana. I should mention that first. We got some nice bubble wrap there on the bottom. All right, first thing I see here. Wow, check that out. That's fancy. Very cool. These are wild huckleberry cordials from Montana. And a really nice, what looks to be a, like a pine box. Man, this is really cool. And uh, he actually gave me an idea of what to do. Uh, we'll probably be making a video just out of the stuff that he sent in this box, but this is really awesome. I'll probably keep that box forever. That's really neat, man. Next, we have... Oh, wow. Check this out. Holy crap. Look at that. That is crazy, dude. Wow. You really went <laughs> above and beyond. Check that out. Montana. So we're definitely going to be making a video. And there's a train in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. It's got my dog barking. Missoula. And that's actually where he's from. Missoula, Montana. Check that out. Quicksilver Vodka. What a sharp looking bottle. It's an extra smooth spirit. Uh, Montgomery Distillery in Montana. Holy cow, dude. Gee whiz, man. Oh, wow. Look at that. Arthur Wayne Hot Sauce. This is also Huckleberry and Ghost. Oh, wow. That's probably going to be like a sweet and hot chunks of Huckleberries in there or something. Wow, that is going to be awesome. Man, I can't wait to do a taste test of all this stuff. This is really cool, man. I'm actually shaking now. This is crazy. I see a t-shirt in here, too. I'll try to get this on the camera. And that says Montana Grizzlies. There we go. And that's the right size, too, man. Extra large, I can wear an extra large, no problem. I was just thinking about I needed a new t-shirt, too. So, you took care of that for me. Can't believe I, I decided to start with this box. This is crazy. Now we're getting into some food down in here. It's very, very pink package. <laughs> and on the other side here, we have Montana Wild Huckleberry Jelly Beans. Whoa. I'm catching a theme here that I guess Wild Huckleberry must be like a, a staple in Montana. Very cool. I've actually never had wild huckleberry to my knowledge, so this is all going to be new to me. Very cool. Next we've got, holy crap, check that out. That's going in one of my hot videos. Heck yeah. Ghost pepper toffee, popcorn. I really like hot stuff, guys, if you haven't figured that out yet. So this is going to be awesome. This video is probably going to end up being kind of long. Uh, you guys just bear with me, and I'll go through these boxes as quick as possible. Just thought I'd mention that real quick. And... Looks like we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think there might be eight in here. I may have missed one. These are uh, like tickets for meals for Noodles Company. So that's really, really cool. I'm not exactly, there we go. One free bowl of Noodles Pasta Super Salad. Very cool. Noodles Company. So we'll move on to the next thing in the package. And uh, I think this might be the last thing in the box, but this is Montana Jerky Company. This is a huge 8-ounce. This is a half pound of jerky. 
holy crap, nice and vacuum sealed. And what I'm going to do, let me check the box real quick to make sure I haven't missed anything. Yep, I did. Right there's one more ticket. So I just wanted to double check and make sure. Now I'm going to lay all this out and we're going to take a real quick look at it and I'm going to tell you what I plan to do with it. Alright, so there's everything laid out. What I'm going to do, since all this stuff is basically local to where he's from, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to taste Montana in a video. So what I'll do is uh, Old Smokey tastes Montana and we'll try all this stuff out. I'll wear the t-shirt while I do that video. But uh, really wanted to just say, holy cow, dude. Thanks a lot for sending all this really cool stuff in, man. Really appreciate it. And look for that video here sometime soon because uh, this is one that I'm definitely going to film soon. All right, dude. Thank you. And we'll move on to the next box. All right. So the next package we got right here came to me from uh, Chris and Amy. Uh, Amy actually has a couple ration reviews. Uh, she's good. They're actually pretty funny. You guys, I'll put a link to that down in my description also. You guys go check it out. You get a pretty good laugh out of it. I do. I encourage you guys to go check it out. Seriously. Check this out. Chris and Amy are actually Patreon supporters. Um, they've been a huge help to the channel. Uh, definitely big supporters of the channel. Really appreciate all the help you guys have given me. And uh, you guys are just really cool. So, alright. So let's see what we got here. And I think... Oh, nope. There is more in there. Alright. As a gift for you. Hi Smokey, hope your video is going great when you open this. Hope you enjoy this survival kit and can put it to good use. Alright, very cool. But let's go ahead and get this opened up and see what's going on here. Just cut it right here and get it opened up. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Gotta hurry and try to get this one opened up and done before the uh, battery dies on the camera. So here we go. Oh, okay. That's everything out of the box. And here loose we have an emergency blanket. And this one is 130 by 210. So that's a pretty good size, I do believe. And then we have what looks to be one of those waterproof cases that uh, you build a survival kit in. It's got four latches. And here's a, just a quick look inside. It's got some foam lining. Looks to me to be a, like a recessed seal. May be waterproof, it may not be, but uh, we'll be checking this out in the video here sometime soon just to see how this stuff works and what all's going on with that and see if we can't just make a video with this too. Thanks a lot, Chris and Amy, for sending this in. Really appreciate it. All right, I'm going to get all this packed up and we'll move on to the next one. All right, so next I've got a package here from... Uh, I believe his name is Chad. I have no idea. It's just kind of a definite surprise. It's really, really lightweight, so uh, really anxious to get into this one. I have no idea who this really came from or anything. He's from Toronto, Ohio. I hope I'm not giving out too much information, man. I'm going to use a smaller knife to cut this open because I want to be a little bit more careful here. And I'll use the other knife that Fireman Food sent in. And we'll cut that there. On this side. There we go. Got that opened up there, and inside we have what looks to be an envelope. It says from I am into pain. I'm going to go ahead and guess that that's probably a YouTube channel, but hopefully this isn't going to make me be into pain. <laughs> oh God, I'm kind of scared now. Let's see what happens. Remember, if it's time sensitive or anything, or if it's fragile, you guys definitely uh, don't forget to write that on there. Okay. We're almost in. Okay, here we go. Holy crap, look at that. Wow! I didn't expect this. Thanks so much, Chad. This is going to be awesome. You guys are going to get to see me probably cry a little bit. Oh, this is so cool. I've been wanting one of these forever, but I couldn't get one because they were like 50 bucks on eBay. <laughs> Man, wow! This was a huge surprise, dude. Thanks so much for sending that in. I'll try to move on to the next one before the camera dies on me. Alright, so the next one we got here is from Shocker71. He always sends me some really cool and fun stuff. So, uh, I want to go ahead and check this one out and see what he sent in this time. Because I have no idea. He w didn't tell me what he sent in. Uh, I think he said it was some of his favorite stuff, if I remember right. So, I've had this one for a few weeks. And... 
about in of course there will be a link to his uh channel down in the description always is a link to his channel down in the description you guys go check him out really great guy he's got a ton of ration reviews up on his channel over there now too so let's see what we got going on here we have a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of order forms from his work i believe set them back here out of the way oh man look at this holy cow look at that that's huge got a a bounty bar trio three times and we've got some uh Gorlaki. looks like chocolate and strawberry vanilla we have a kinder bueno chocolate covered like wafer cream filled very nice ah uh, we have a flake made by cadbury and these are these are like flaky chocolate i think and we've got a bag of walkers wow wonder uh that looks exactly like the lays logo almost and these are cheese and onion. Here we have a prawn cocktail. This is actually Russian chocolate. This is milk chocolate. I've had this before. I used to get these all the time. I've sent him a bunch of these. There's red ones too. That's what I'm looking for to see if there's chips all in the box. Oh, here's an all chocolate wafer. So we got three different kinds of those there. Uh, ah. We call this the creepy baby chocolate from Russia. Um, this, I have no idea what this is. Looks like it is 70% cacao. So this is a dark chocolate, a very good quality dark chocolate, 70%. And this is made by the same maker that looks like it is like a white chocolate. I've never seen these before. Really interesting. And here, this also looks russian if i'm not mistaken and this is kind of like a peanut bar looks like it's just all stuck together peanuts this will look really tasty uh, and this is familiar i have had these in um in rations before never had them in outside of a ration but this is it looks like a sesame seed bar this is also russian so uh maybe it isn't just a sesame seed bar because it's kind of kind of light for a sesame seed bar but i think this is a bunch of uh oh we got one more in there ah I think this is the most important one, too. This is the Lion Bar. And I think he said this was his absolute favorite right now. So, let me get this box out of the way. And this is all the stuff that Shocker just sent in. Wow. What a bunch of, bunch of candy and food here. Looking really, really good. Wow. Okay. Ready to get started again. This package is so big, and I have the camera backed up actually quite a good bit and it still won't all fit on there so we're just going to check it out the way it is as you can see this one right here came from uh, October Skyline and before I move on I wanted to uh, mention that filming got interrupted because my camera died and then I had uh, I had this big incident happen so there's been like um, a week and a half in between when I filmed uh, I finished up with Shocker's package and we're starting back up with this one right here and we're going to use this huge knife to cut it open. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this cut open. Probably speed you guys up through that. Okay, now we're in. Let's check out what he sent. Um, October Skyline is the one that I actually bought the corned beef hash off of. The review that I have up, I'll put a link to that up right here. You guys go check out that review. That's probably one of my favorite films that I've made. I really had a good time filming that one. And I really enjoyed that entire meal. You guys definitely go check that out. And he sent along some MREs from the same group. You can see this one right here is pork with rice and barbecue sauce. But uh, he did open them all up. So that, that's opened up. And here is a menu number seven, beef stew. You guys see that? And here is another one. This one is menu number six, chicken a la king. And there's all the contents in there. And also in here... We have this huge, very heavy, NATO-approved Ukrainian ration. This thing is absolutely huge. Hang on just one second. Now you can see just how large this thing is. I mean, there's a USMRE in comparison. And this thing probably weighs at least five pounds, maybe more, maybe closer to six. Heck, maybe even more than six. It's really heavy really heavy and it's just got a ziplock seal look inside here 
it does have uh, some busted honey in there, which is not a big deal. And a bunch of retort pouches. And it's got this weird packs of like salau, I think. And it's just pure fat. And I think maybe you use this stuff to fry bread in or fry your something, rice in or something. But uh, we might check this ration out sometime or I might just have this as a snack sometime. This thing is absolutely crazy huge. Seal that back up. It's the only ration that I know of that comes with a bowl and a plate. Also packs of fat. But uh, there's everything that October Skyline sent in. Really awesome. And while I was doing that, I was munching on these uh, prawn cocktail chips. They kind of have like a little bit of a salt and vinegar taste to them. And a little bit of that smell too. are slightly buttery. Mm, those are actually really good. But yeah, got some cool extras in here. Like right there is a uh, freeze-dried peaches. I mean, just cool stuff. Some peanut butter in there. But I just wanted to say thanks, October Skyline, for sending this stuff in, man. I really can't wait to uh, tear into this stuff. And I'll eat this stuff just as a meal one night. So thanks again, man. And uh, we'll move on to the next one. Alright, so our next package right here comes to us from Dave's 45 Auto. Great guy. I've actually met up with him a few times up in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Really cool guy. We've had lunch a few times. He sent this along to me, so I want to get it opened up and check it out. He's got a YouTube channel called Dave's 45 Auto. There will be a link to that right in the top of my description. You guys go check that out. I'm going to use the smaller knife that Fireman Food sent me. Thanks for the knife again there, Fireman Food. This one shouldn't take but a second to get opened up. Alright, so we're in. Oh yeah, check that out. Wow, what's the date code on this sucker? 7093, so the 93rd day of 2017. That, by far, is the freshest MRE that I own now. Thanks a lot, Dave, for sending that to me. Um, look for a review of this pretty soon, guys. Definitely be checking this out. Alright, so... Uh, Thanks a lot again, Dave. You guys go check out his channel. Really fun guy. He's got all kinds of ration reviews over there. All right, on to the next one. Whew, man, this is a heavy one. All right, so this one comes all the way from Australia, the Down Under. And it comes from a subscriber. His name's Daniel. This thing is really heavy. Come to find out, he's also one of my Patreon supporters. I had no idea. Had no idea that he was even sending a package along. I've been mega excited to open this thing up ever since it showed up. I mean, it's not very often that you get something from Australia. And for him to be kind enough to uh, spend his hard-earned money to send this over, give Daniel a special thank you down there in the uh, comments section. Same to anyone who sent something in. Uh, I think they all deserve a big thank you. But all right, uh, let's go ahead and, uh, before we go ahead and open this up, I'm going to keep you in suspense for another minute or two. I told you that I would tell you about the uh, 10,000 subscriber video that I've been thinking about and I'd like to make. So I'm going to ask you guys a question. I've got this box. You can see that it says VAT19 on it. VAT19 has a YouTube channel. You guys go check them out. They've got all kinds of crazy cool stuff. But inside of here, I've amassed a little collection of hot things. Like, for instance, I have the Carolina Reaper. And that's a dried pepper. And I've got two of them, one for me and one for my son. I have the world's hottest chocolate bar. And there are some really cool videos on this out there. You guys go check them out because that thing is actually a lot worse than you would think it is. Then also right here, I have some Carolina Reaper powder. I've been trying to think of ideas of what I could do with this. And I'm thinking that maybe I might just make the world's hottest donut. I'm going to mix it up with some cinnamon and some sugar. I'll do that right here on the table. And then I'll roll the donut in it and see how that goes. And then Steve1989 actually sent me the uh, chocolate bar from hell. And Spontaneous Combustion's Ghost Pepper Popcorn. So I've got a little collection of hot stuff here. And this is what I plan on doing something like this for the 10,000 subscriber video. And I also plan on doing a really special uh, ration review. Something that's going to take me some time to put together because it's so big. It's huge. I'm actually working on that as we speak. But out of everything that you guys seen here, you've got uh, the dried peppers, the world's hottest chocolate bar from VAT19, and the powder, of course. I just thought maybe I'd ask you guys what you would like to see the most. So... 
kind of like a, I don't know, just, just a poll. I, I think I can set up a poll and have you guys vote for which one you would like to see the most. Or if you just want to tell me down in the comments, you can go ahead and do that. But I'll, I might try to set up that poll. I don't know. I don't really know what I'm doing that well, so that might not work out too well. So best off to just go ahead and type it down in the comments which one you'd like to see me uh, eat the most. And of course, I'm not exactly what you'd call a chili head. I do like spicy things, but I don't eat super hot on a regular basis. So it's definitely going to be uh, interesting to say the least. Now, before we move on, I have something else. This showed up a good while ago, and I have no idea where it came from. I know you can hear that. There's no return address on it. It's very suspicious feeling. Um, I'm not even going to say what I think it feels like, because you can tell what it sounds like. I have no idea who sent this. I don't know anything about it. It's kind of a... This might be the first crazy package that I've opened up, but I just thought that I would... Uh, show that and uh, we'll open this thing up at the very end and see what's going on in here all right now on to daniel's package the one that i've been so super excited to open up and i want to open this thing up correctly so uh i'm going to use my knife here and this tape right here is already coming off so pull that around and next we have some more tape here and i'm, I'm very familiar with this this tape that's on here now. I've had so much medical tape on my leg over the last couple years that uh, probably kept a tape company in business. Okay, I think everything's cut and we're ready to just peel her open here. Oh, wow. Holy wow. Whoa. Look at that. Wow. So, first off, okay, that's stuck. Check this out. Ah. This is a backcountry cuisine cooked breakfast, and it's gluten-free, which is awesome. A hearty combo of smoked beef, tomato, egg, and hash brown potato mix. That sounds freaking awesome. And it has a best buy date of May 31st of 2021. Obviously, it's freeze-dried, backcountry. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Next along we have new Lamington chocolate jam and coconut flavors. Wow, that is really interesting. That's something I've never seen here in the States. I doubt that this is something that's over here. So a very cool treat to send along. Man, that even sounds really good. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna try out one of these right now. Gotta try each flavor. Oh, I can smell the jam in there. I don't really smell the coconut. I assume the white's probably the coconut. Let's try the red. Mmm. Tangy. That's awesome. That's a really interesting flavor in an M&M. It's kind of like a, kind of got a strawberry jam kind of taste, but it's not real, real strong or overpowering. It's just kind of faint, but it's there. Let's go ahead and try out the coconut next. That is sweet and creamy. It's got that coconut flavor that kind of reminds you of like um, tanning lotion, kind of that kind of coconut. It's definitely a coconut oil that's flavoring that for sure. 160 grams. And let's try the chocolate and see if these are dark chocolate. Nope, not dark chocolate, just uh, standard milk chocolate. But what an interesting... Let's see if I can get one of each. I want to try them all together. Let's try them all three together. When you try them all together, nothing really stands out. Just kind of a big mix of, uh, of one flavor. Kui, grass-fed beef jerky, mountain pepperberry. That I've got to try out right now, too. And then we'll talk about the piece of resistance that's in the bag here. Or in the box, I should say. Let's try this jerky out because I'm really, after something sweet like that, I'm craving savory. It does have a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a fruity smell there. I don't know. Let me give that a try. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is absolutely awesome. It says that it's infused with native pepperberry, and I'm not exactly sure what that is, but it's obviously native to Tasmania, and that is a taste of Tasmania. It's really, really savory, kind of salty. Oh, man, it's really good. Nice and tender. It's not too hard to chew. It's not super smoky, which uh, sometimes I get overwhelmed by the smoke in jerky, and that's not overly smoky. Really, really good jerky. All right, so uh, let's check this out. Wow. 
You can see the date right there. And if you don't know what this is, this is an Australian CR-1M or Combat Ration One Man. This is designed for the uh, Australian Defense Forces or the ADF. Uh, this is a 2015-16 and looks like 2-9 uh, of 16 was the production date, so well within date. Just a little bit over two years old. And this is a menu D. Let's see if I can tell anything that's in there. The mains, I mean. Can't tell, but uh, this review right here will be coming up really soon. So we got a menu D. We have this awesome cooked breakfast. I can't wait to try that out. We're going to do a video on this just because I think it's going to be really amazing. Probably be a short four minute video maybe. What fun M&Ms. These are really, really cool. Lamington. Interesting. I wonder why they're called that. Maybe let me know down in the comments uh, why it's called Lamington. And then we have our Tasmanian grass-fed beef jerky. Awesome beef jerky. I'm so excited right now. Can't wait to try out this CR1M. There's just so much cool stuff in there, and I finally get to have a Fred, too, because I do not have one. Again, I wanted to say a huge thanks to Daniel for hooking it up. Can't wait to uh, get this ration reviewed. Definitely looking forward to that big time. All right, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next package now. All right, so this next package right here comes from Amazon. There's no name on the package of who it came from or anything. Um, really don't have any idea what might be inside of this. So uh, let's go ahead and get it opened up and see what we got here. Straight from Amazon. Try not to damage anything inside, of course. All right, so we'll look in here and see if we find us a note anywhere. We got a bunch of air packaging, which is always good. We have a huge package of, I do not see a note in there, so let's set this box off to the side. Oh, check it out. Pack of five. This is the Samyang Ramen Spicy Noodle. Oh, wow. All right, so we got some more cutting to do here. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a challenge. This is going to be a challenge. This is going to be a challenge, for sure. Look at that. I've seen people try to eat these, and just, they absolutely lose their crap. But they always try to eat like two or three packs, and these are huge packs of ramen. Still no note? Huh. Well, thank you to the anonymous person who sent in the uh, super spicy noodles. So this is something that I'm going to be cooking up here real soon. Hey, we'll cook it up on one of the mess kits and uh, try out the new stove and whatnot, cooking this up. Maybe uh, make a 10-minute video of me trying to wolf down this insanely hot ramen. Thanks to whoever sent that in. If you want to uh, hit me up down in the comments and let me know that you sent this to me, that'd be awesome because as of right now, I have no idea who sent this in. All right, we'll move on to the next one. This is also a very heavy package, and this one came to me from uh, B Temple. He's an MRE Info member. He's got a, a YouTube channel. You guys go over and check his channel out. Hook him up with a subscribe. He's from up in Canada. Uh, this is actually his second attempt at sending me a package. The first one got delivered to the wrong box and uh, didn't get returned to me. So that package was gone with the wind, unfortunately. So he actually sent along another package. Very cool of him. Let's check it out. You guys think that I'm feeling a little rushed. I'm trying to... I've spent a lot of time... Let's see what we got here. Wow. Holy cow. We've got traditional fettuccine alfredo. We have instant white rice. We have creamy stroganoff. We have alfredo and stroganoff. We have strawberry fields cream of wheat. Mmm, that sounds good. Orange energy drink mix. Holy cow. We've got granny's home style potato soup. That's the lightest package so far. We have chocolate pudding mix and all these are actually resealable they have a zip seal at the top i think they all do let me check nope that one does not this is a one-time open and use that's resealable that's resealable that isn't but yeah a lot of them are resealable we have the traveler stew which is no idea looks like this stuff was produced in uh, september 10th of 2014 but i'm sure the shelf life on this stuff is tremendously long and okay cool heartland's best mashed potatoes this is four servings very cool and this is also zip seal bag we have one more in here and that is man this thing is packed to the gills of maple grove oatmeal so some maple oatmeal 
awesome. Look at the stack of stuff. Holy cow. This stuff's actually a lot bigger and heavier than I had imagined. I've seen this stuff before, but I've never bought any myself, so uh, maybe we can put together a review. But all right, uh, you guys go check out B Temple's channel. There will obviously be a link to that down in the description. Go over there. You guys give him a subscribe. Check him out. Definitely, if you like what you see, uh, subscribe to his channel. Link will be down in the description. Thanks again, man, for sending this in. Really, really appreciate it and look forward to trying this stuff out. I've always been pretty curious about this. And uh, it's actually a reasonably priced way to stock up on some long-term food storage. So if this stuff is good, this gives me a chance to try it out and maybe uh, stock some up later. All right, uh, on to the next one. Okay, this package is actually an addition. This is one that just showed up today. This is from my good friend Delicious over in Poland. He's got a, a, a YouTube channel as well. You guys, please go check out his channel. He's such a cool guy. Really, really enjoy every dealings that I've ever had with the guy. Really genuine. I had no idea that he was sending anything along. Let's listen. There's something. I have no idea what could be in here. And he always does such a good job of packaging stuff up. He'll always take like a trash bag and just tape the trash bag around the packages. I've had packages like weighed 20 pounds that he sent that were wrapped up exactly the same way so he always does package them up really good let's uh let's get into this thing maybe i have no idea where to start attacking it okay okay cool 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 we've got us a little nondescript looking box here we've got a little piece of tape to cut here all right here we go moment of truth what could this be i have no idea Whoa! Oh, wow. Check that out. What is that? Okay, here, I got a note. Awesome. Well, let's unpack it, and then I'll read the note. We have... That is a freeze-dried strawberry bar. These are in a really weird um, commercial Russian ration. Awesome. I have no idea where he would have found this, but... I've actually been looking for these for over a year now. And there's a raspberry and a... Looks like a cherry... That looks like it's got peppers in it. Has that got peppers in it? Oh, boy. That'll be awesome if that's... You guys see that? Unless I'm crazy, that looks like it's got peppers in it. Okay, cool. I'll be looking forward to trying that out. And then we have something that looks to be homemade. And check this out, guys. Oh, my goodness. We have a lime-flavored cereal bar. What? Cereal fruit bar lime flavor. I've never even heard of that. I didn't even know it existed. Awesome. This one looks familiar. This is, I think it's underneath there. I'm not sure what the red one is. Maybe we'll see on a different one. There's another lime flavored one. And then this one is, okay. So this is actually a pear flavored. Never had or seen that before. This is cranberry, I believe. And then this is another pear flavor. And there is another one of the cherry with what looks like a pepper. There's a picture of a pepper on there. So you definitely made my day here, my friend. Definitely made my day. I bet you that one right there is cranberry, maybe, or fig. One or the other. I can't remember which. But, yeah, guys, definitely go check out Delicious and his channel. And uh, hook him up with a subscribe if you go over there and you like this content. Guy's got tons and tons of ration reviews over there. He gets really rare stuff in, too. He gets it before anybody else does. Huh. I have no idea what that is. I'm trying to figure it out. Okay, it's, like, kind of granulated. Mmm. has a good smell. It's, like, I can smell it through the package. And that may be like, I'll bet you that this is buckwheat honey. I'll bet you that's what this is. He says to enjoy my meal. And uh, thanks delicious, man. Dude, you made my night. I cannot wait to dig into one of these. Actually, I want to try the, I want to try the lime one, guys. Uh, just because this is a really interesting new flavor. This is lime, right? Hang on. Yep. Okay, this is the lime one. I want to try this and let you guys know what I think about it. Ooh, man, that smells really, really, really good. There's a quick look at the cross section on that. And that has a beautiful lime smell to it. All right, here we go, down the hatch. Mmm. Wow. That cereal with that lime hint in there. Oh, man, I like lime anyways. But this is like a creamy lime. Honestly, these are probably my favorite bars in the world. But, yeah, these are probably the best bars that come out of a ration. In my opinion, you know, you got your good chocolate bars and stuff. But these are actually healthy for you. And man, are they tasty. So good. I'm going to finish this bar off. But uh, before I do that, I wanted to say a huge thanks to Delicious for sending this in. Definitely made my evening, if not my week. And uh, really appreciate you sending this stuff in. But all right, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, move on to that last weird no return address package. And uh, be right back. All right, so here we go. I'm going to cap off 
Um, Old Smokey's mail call number three with this mystery package from the mystery sender. And of course, like I said, there's nothing on here. So let's go ahead and cut this thing open and just, <laughs> and let's see, let's see what it is. And hopefully there's like a note or something in here that gives me some indication of where it came from. Again, the noodles, that had no return address or uh, anything, no name, no nothing, no note. Okay. Okay. All right. What a, okay, that's weird. All right. Oh, check it out. Um, if you guys can see that, that says Cheers Emmy. I assume this is from Emmy Made in Japan, and these are draft jelly beans. But yeah, I just wanted to say this has been a really fun video to make, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Thanks to my patrons that uh, help make this channel possible. There will obviously be a list of those up at the end of every video. I'm sure it's already up on the screen right now. Of course, down in the uh, description is where you're going to find all these awesome people that have YouTube channels and stuff like that. Their links will be down in the description. You guys, please go check their channels out. Uh, they were very cool to send things into the channel. Very cool. And I want to thank everyone that sent something in and uh, making this video right here possible. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that. And make sure you turn that bell on so you get notifications and you know every time that I put a new video out. Even though I know YouTube is not notifying people and they're unsubscribing them from my channel. So, you know, uh, if they do happen to do that to you and you see one of my videos pop up, it's awesome if you click on it and uh, subscribe to me again. It's just this crazy thing that's going on and has been going on for a few months now. But okay, I'm babbling on. This video is getting really long. From the bottom of my heart, everyone, thank you. And, uh, alright, so, uh, I guess all I want to really say is thank you all for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Later. Chalker71, he's a classic good buddy. So, uh, this box right here, I'm not real sure. Whoops. If you happen to see this video, and this came from Emmy Made in Japan. Anyways, I just knocked the camera over, but if this